Trey Turner over the glove of Mike Russo. And it's a good thing for the Rays. Kiermaier was playing over toward the gap. That had enough juice on it to get to the scoreboard. But he was able to cut it off. And Trey Turner, his march toward 100 hits continues. He's now at 97. It's just an impressive piece of hitting. First pitch was 99 right down the middle. This slider caught the middle of the plate, but he stayed back and stayed through it and hit a bullet. And this time he's going to pull it. Extra bases. Schwarber coming to third. Bob Henley's going to hold him. Trey Turner into second. And with Juan Soto coming up, the Nats have the tying run at second base. Another good piece of hitting here from Trey Turner. Sheriff went with the change up this pitch. He stayed behind it and laced a double down the left field line. Let's see how long his barrel stays in the zone. The Rosarina did a good job of fielding this ball cleanly and hitting his cutoff man, forcing Bob Henley to throw on the brakes for Schwarber. With another multi hit effort today. Well, this is the Nats' 80th game of the year. And Trey Turner right now has 98 hits. That ball hit well. Right center. He's got 99 hits. See you later. Happy birthday, Trey. And guess what he needs for the cycle? Something he's very capable of doing. More on that later. The Nets have a two-run lead back. Get this guy to Denver. Somebody book his ticket. He needs to be there. Playing one of the most important positions on the field and on the field every day. And swinging an amazingly hot bat. Opposite field, no doubter. Well, I'm sure Trey Turner didn't know anything about Michael Walker, only giving up two homers this year. That's long distance, opposite field. And next up is Juan Soto. That was Trey Turner's first time facing Michael Walker. Soto 0 for 3 against him. Well, we're singling out a few guys here. Trey Turner's having a huge 28th birthday in the middle. On this graphic, at least, of Josh Bell and Juan Soto, though he hits in front of him. And those guys have been all over the bases today. Kyle Schwarber has been on once and scored a run. So it's a lot of offense. John Lester, five tough innings in the heat. And we got some stat casts powered by Google Cloud. Well, to extend the lead a little bit back in the fourth inning, Trey Turner hit this opposite field home run 400 feet on the dot, 103 miles an hour on the off the bat on 96. Mile per hour heater from Michael Walker. A good pitcher's pitch, but a better swing by Trey. Trey Turner will lead off against the pitcher against Tommy Homer. He's going to bat left handed this time? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Just a practice swing. So the Nats box, read, enjoy. So Kyle Schwarber and Gerardo Barr among position players, the only ones not checking in with Knox. But as I mentioned, Kyle has scored a run today. He can't carry the ball club every day. And his buddies are doing a great job. So here's Turner against Michael Walker. With the homer, one for one career against this righty. Trey Turner already has two career cycles. There's a ton of room down the left field line. There's some room out there in the left center in the deep part of the ballpark is. Kiermaier the center fielder place him. Toward the out of town scoreboard. He's going to need a little carom too but all it takes is one errant bounce. Turner right field line and it's beyond the reach of Margot. He's going to second. He's going to third. Here's the throw. Cycle 
for Trey Turner. On his birthday. Come on. <laughs> well, out of the box, he had triple on his mind. He was flying around the bases. Check him out. Elevated cutter, and he had that on his mind the entire way. He did not pick up Bob Henley once. He said, I'm getting this three-bagger on my B-Day. And then he had to stay on there.